What's up, Foxtrotters? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. Maybe consider subscribing before you leave today. If you're returning, hello. It's so nice to see you all again. You guys look great. Yes, you person who finally finished the last Christmas cookie. Hats off to you, my dude. A true holiday hero. You look great. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. I am so excited to bring to you an r slash insane people's Facebook video. It's just what I woke up wanting to do today. And for no particular reason other than it just, uh, I don't know, it makes me laugh a lot by myself when I'm sitting there surfing through the subreddit. Though I will say, I have to be pretty picky with this subreddit because there's some stuff on there that I'm just like, I'm not touching. And I'm, I'm sure if any of you have actually seen the subreddit, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but uh, I think the stuff that I find at least uh, appeals to my fancy. So hopefully it appeals to yours as well and if that sounds good to you then please stay tuned perfectly normal way to respond to someone getting in a car accident well this might be goodbye was turning to get gas and the young lady was not paying attention and got me at about 55 miles per hour oh man that really sucks i'm sorry dude <laughs> oh no hopefully you got good insurance hopefully they have good insurance <laughs> glad you're okay let me help you replace it what where are you working now I've been selling cars for over two years now. Where? Country Chevrolet and blank. I actually work out of their credit center office. I specialize in challenged credit, but work with all credit. Wow. Wow. <laughs> uh, boy, does this sound like another group of people that we know of that we maybe talk about a lot? What do you think? Yeah, this sounds awfully familiar. Just this level of opportunistic behavior. <laughs> nice, just using someone's uh, you know, crisis to make a sale. It's cool. It's fine. It's not. It's really not fine. Oh my god. Now this one. I hope this is fake. Just finished sanding my tires so that my car will ride smoother on the interstate and honestly, I kind of love this look. For all of you saying your tires look like this, if you slide into my car on the freeway while I have my kids with me, May God be with you. <laughs> if that's what the F insurance is for, because stuff happens, I bet your driving is much more of a concern than a bald tire. Don't forget you have three other ones. Whoa. Hey, the government's tracking you with the antenna on your tire. You should cut that off so you they can't follow your movements. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, I was under the impression that you only really want tires like that if you're going to be racing, right? Like at the Salt Flats in Nevada, you you want your tires to be super smooth because you're trying to reach top speed. But as far as actual driving goes, when it comes to traction, like turning, uh, yeah, that's going to be a no. <laughs> just seems generally a pretty irresponsible thing to do considering that we share the road with everybody else <laughs> got a live one it's from a doctor very important news from a doctor burger king's impossible whopper has 18 million times more estrogen than regular whopper <laughs> okay let me know down below is it even possible for something like this and <laughs> to be 18 million times anything can a burger be 18 million times more anything is that possible is that a realistic unit of measurement <laughs> is that a thing <laughs> i don't know um and these doctors i know that it's pretty easy as we have learned from other subreddits that we like to cover over on this channel we've learned that it's not terribly difficult to be able to find a quote-unquote doctor who will you know say just about anything uh, for the right amount of uh, moolah, you know what I mean? <laughs> if you guys already know, we've seen it. We've seen it all over on like Young Living and doTERRA and they have a lot of these ridiculous doctors who are saying it's okay to ingest oils too. So like there, there's tons of misinformation out there and there's tons of people who seem like very credible, educated people who will say just about anything. Unfortunately, it's the world we live in today. <laughs> Also, maybe we shouldn't tell this person that estrogen naturally occurs in, like, lots of other foods, too. Like, should we tell them? Bah. <laughs> Why do I want to do this in the Bane voice? Forgive me, I'm going to. Don't get on my nerves or I may snap. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. 
Uh, is that Thanos hand CGI'd in there? And by CGI'd, I mean poorly photoshopped. Is that what's happening? Sorry, the dogs are all kind of woofing because a neighbor decided, uh, how dare they, to come home and open their car door to get out of it. And the dogs are just <laughs> not having it. <laughs> but I'm trying to look at this photo like with my 33-year-old lady eyes. And I, I feel like it looks like it's a bad Photoshop, but it could also just be a very low quality uh, purchase from, I don't know, Amazon Thanos Snap Pan, which is fine. I mean, I... <laughs> It's cool, I guess, but I don't know. Well, let's just put it this way. You can tell that this is someone who is most likely pretty young because in a couple years, a few years, something like that, they're going to see this photo and just cringe. Kind of like I do when I'm able to uncover old MySpace pictures and I just like, oh my god, why did I oversaturate it so much? Why did I think that looked good? <laughs> Oh, with like edgy quotes. Ugh, it like it hurts me to think about like physically. Ouch. But that's what this is making me feel. After reading this one through once already, I'm pretty sure this one could also be cross posted under r slash that happened because there's no way this happened. And if it did, well, you'll see. I made a woman cry today and it's honestly not that hard. <laughs> wow. Woman, mid-30s, low back and neck discs herniated, gaining weight quickly, looks miserable but puts on a fake smile. Lower neck looks like an over-inflated tire. Jeez, you sound like a real medical professional with that language. All I say is, your health is failing, and it's failing fast. <sighs> your thyroid is bulging out of your neck. Your hair is probably falling out. You can't handle temperature extremes. You're gaining weight fast and you probably have completely irregular cycles and headaches. She bursts into tears and says, You're right, I thought I was going crazy. The doctors told me I was fine. I did zero diagnostic tests, didn't ask her any questions, and just simply observed her. Yet, MDs can't figure it out, make her think she's crazy, and put her on pain injections and birth control? How's that medical system working for you? Uh, <laughs> I am not even sure exactly what angle I want to take this. Um, I mean, who are you trying to impress here, I guess? Uh, if this did happen, she burst into tears because you probably made her cry because you, you just basically... You, that, was, that was very unprofessional how you spoke to her, how you explained it. And, and I, I don't know <laughs> what else to say. You're a chiropractor. What are you doing talking to people like that? You're supposed to be... You know, popping backs and cracking necks, and and to anyone who out there who is a chiropractor listening, I I'm not. <laughs> I am not trying to oversimplify anything that you do. I think your work is valuable. I've been to the chiropractor. I have a bad back. I am a very big fan, but I just don't think that this particular person is terribly representative of what most chiropractors believe or how most chiropractors would speak to their own patients. <laughs> Let me know down below. Maybe you are. Maybe you're a chiropractor and this is totally normal and you think this is great. Uh, I just have a funny feeling that this is not the case. <laughs> and this guy really made himself look like a solid jerk. You know what I mean? <laughs> Ugh. The two biggest things to explode in the coming decade. One, aged urine. And two, I'm not going to read that out loud. Because some of you might be at work, and if you can see the screen, then you can see it, and that's good enough for me. What in the ever-loving heck is going on here? <laughs> Just observing trends. These are the two most popular vid topics on my YouTube. Also, as we enter the age of Aquarius, the most powerful health protocols will rise. What? <laughs> what did I just read? I, I'm sorry <laughs> that I shared this. I, <laughs> On a post about an entire Sonic crew quitting when their wages were dropped to $4 an hour plus tips. Whoa, that seems a bit radical, doesn't it? I don't know. 
Typically, fast food workers are employing 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20 year old kids. Kids still living with mom and dad. So I'm not feeling sorry for someone who makes minimum wage when I was working 3.15 an hour back in my day. You want tips? Provide a better service or go work somewhere that gets employee tips. But if I tipped a fast food worker at a drive, okay, hold on, this is gonna be the longest run on sentence you may have ever seen. But if I tipped a fast food worker at a drive-thru window because he brought me my food to me or tipped a cashier for taking my order at a fast food restaurant, I wouldn't be eating fast food considering two double cheeseburgers and two fries and two Cokes cost darn near $20 or more, and you're lucky you get the order right and warm. Whoa, first of all, it's not the employee's fault, and this is a bad deal for them. It's not a good deal for the employees. That's why they quit. It's not, they didn't want this. And for the record, the cost of living has only increased since the days when you got three fifteen an hour back in your day. And just so we're being clear, uh, typically people working at fast food restaurants get minimum wage, right? So um, to lower it down to four dollars, that means that the pro that they were getting paid probably about whatever the national minimum wage is. Where I'm living, I, where, where I'm at in the United States, I think minimum wage is like ten, eleven dollars, something like that. So. Um, that would mean that they are getting paid significantly less than minimum wage and then they're expected to get tips now which people having never tipped at a fast food restaurant before why would people start tipping like it's just a bad deal for the workers i don't know maybe that's what i'm most upset about besides this person being an obvious jerk and having no concept of the fact that like you know things get more expensive over time and 315 an hour back in your day uh probably was like earning 15 bucks now so <laughs> and they're not going to be earning that uh i don't know yeah okay i'm over it please allow children to believe in santa you believe in essential oils and no one is ruining that for you <laughs> This is a wicked post. Santa is a lie and a perpetuation of the prosperity heresy. What? Essential oils are neither of those things. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh my god. First of all, I totally believe in the above statement. As someone who grew up with a uh, Jewish mother and a Catholic father, I believed in Santa and celebrated Hanukkah. Go ahead, talk crap if you want. That's fine. <laughs> it's just what my family did. I didn't have control over it, and you know what? It's fine. I believed in Santa and then got to light candles. It was cool, all right? I had a multicultural childhood experience. I'm grateful for it. <laughs> But I'm all for kids believing in Santa. I really am. I think it's I think it's great. And you never hear an adult who's like so mad that their parents made them believe in Santa or that their parents told them about Santa that they believe this lie of Santa. Like you never hear people mad about that. It's always a really fond memory or something or something that was fun. They remember waiting to see Santa and falling asleep on the couch and waking up to having the cookies being eaten. And it was just like, oh, such a magical experience. So, I don't know. Yeah, I, w I don't want to ruin that either. Why? Why ruin that? It's just unnecessary. But then but then we have you-know-who posting down here below. And frankly, this could be a cross-post. This could have been posted under r slash anti-MLM, and this would have been a perfect one to cover. <laughs> Granted, we can't prove that she's affiliated, though there are some, uh, <coughs> there are some signs. And then the three wise men brought Jesus the Hep B vaccine, vitamin K, and erythromycin eye ointment. They also threatened to call CPS if Mary and Joseph declined these gifts. I don't, I don't even know where to start with this other than uh, I was like, vitamin K, is that potassium? And no, it is not. K is in fact the symbol for potassium on the periodic table, but vitamin K is something different. And I went ahead and <laughs> wikipedia it because I'm curious. So vitamin K is a group of structurally similar fat-soluble vitamins found in foods and in dietary supplements. The human body requires vitamin K for complete synthesis of certain proteins that are needed for blood coagulation, you know, just a little thing called coagulation, or for controlling binding of calcium in bones and other tissues. The vitamin K-related modification of the proteins allows them to bind calcium ions, which they cannot do otherwise. Without vitamin K, blood coagulation is seriously impaired and uncontrollable bleeding occurs. Preliminary clinical research indicates that deficiency of vitamin K may weaken bones, potentially leading to osteoporosis, and may promote calcification of arteries and other soft tissues. So, you know, it's just kind of important, just a little bit, you know, it just helps your blood clot so that when you get a cut, you don't just, you know, completely bleed out totally to death right away. <laughs> What is an erythromycin eye ointment? Is that for like when you get an infection in your eye? That's like an antibacterial or something, right? 
I should know this. I'm going into this field, <laughs> health information management. Probably got to learn this <laughs> at some point. What better time than now? <laughs> but other than that, I don't understand what's happening here. I don't know what, what Mary and Joseph and the three wise men have anything to do with this mess. <laughs> This is probably about as close as I'll get to being political on this channel. I just, for me, this issue uh, has nothing to do with your political party or what you believe in at all. This is this is an, a, a this is a people issue. If you live in a civilization, this is something that you should just you know th this matters a lot, right? I just want to scream. People, stop vaccinating your kids at people who constantly post about their sick kids on their fourth round of antibiotics. Research vaccines and do it right now. Well, darling, I would suggest that you take your own advice and research vaccines. Do it right now. Um, and I would suggest you doing research outside of your own echo chamber, which means outside of that Facebook group you like to go rant on. <laughs> Please. Uh, the, and first of all, the antibiotics have nothing to do with the vaccinations, so on and so forth. I mean, that's just some really dangerous misinformation. And, uh, you know, we got to love a judgmental parent. We got to love that. Someone who's sitting on their high horse telling everybody that everything they're doing is wrong. I just have to, I just have to imagine that to be one of those parents who can sit up there and point at all the other parents and say, you're doing it wrong, you're doing it wrong. That to me just really makes me believe that like, you can't be that much of a happy person. There's no way everything in your life is all perfect because people whose lives really are going great and their kids really are happy and they're doing well they don't brag about it like that. They just live their lives and you just witness it and are a part of it. So I don't know. Well, I'm not entirely sure how we got off on that tangent. Vaccinate your kids, guys. Woo! Except for those of you out there who uh, have medical conditions, maybe you um, have allergic reactions, you're medically fragile, you've just been told that you can't because of this, that, or the other. I know there's there's um, a plethora of reasons why some people cannot get vaccinated. And that is the reason why people who can get vaccinated should and i don't know why i'm telling all of you this you guys already know this <laughs> you're all way smarter than i am so i don't know well i'm sure there's a few of you out there who disagree and i'm sure those few will probably let me know as they often do by hitting that dislike button and leaving me really sweet comments <laughs> it's time for everyone's favorite segment of the video it's time for the wholesome moment of the day let's see who you guys sent over the animal featured in today's video is going to be Rosie, and this was sent over by Sight of Glam Pam. Thank you so much for sending the photo, and I'm going to go ahead and read the email. This is my Rosie. She is a two-and-a-half-year-old Great Bernese Mountain Dog. She's half Great Pyrenees and half Bernese Mountain Dog, and the sweetest soul you'll ever meet. I adopted her from the shelter two years ago, and that was the best decision of my life. She loves sleeping, eating greenies, and meeting new friends. <laughs> oh my god, what a floof. Don't you just want to, like, give her a hug? I do. Oh, man. I definitely do. And if you're looking to get a new member of your family, I definitely recommend to adopt a not shop. Check out your local shelters, your local humane societies. Donate if you can. Volunteer if you can. Foster if you can. And don't forget to spay new to your pets. And if you want to see a photo of your pets here, then go ahead and send it to my email in my channel description, and you will see your pets here eventually. All right, Fox Trotters, that's going to do it for me today. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you liked that video, please hit that like button down below. If you have any good comments or suggestions, please leave that down below as well. I love to hear what you have to say. I love interacting with you all. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and become a Fox Trotter. Come join the Den. Den Mother would love to have you. All right, I hope you folks enjoyed that video. I will be back tomorrow with an r slash anti MLM trash video, and I will be announcing what I've been working on uh, as well. Well, working on it's I had to kind of nail down what I was working on. I'll tell you all about it in tomorrow's video. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to it. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of, you, of your day. I love you all so much. And as always, folks, until the next video, take care.